22nd Asian Athletics Championships, hosted between 6th and 9th July 2017 in Bhubaneswar, the capital of the Indian state of Odisha, was not just a story of courage and determination for the competing athletes, but also one of tenacity and perseverance for the hosting state. With over 600 athletes participating from 41 countries, more than 100,000 spectators and live international coverage, this was a spectacle, the scale of which dwarfed anything the state had ever seen before. Anything going wrong would have led to India getting a bad name. It was not just a sporting event, it was the prestige of the entire country. While the world was witness to a stunning event, what makes this feat truly remarkable is that Odisha had just 90 days to put it all together from scratch. A task most experts had deemed impossible. It was, it was difficult days, I must tell you. Everybody was on tenter hoops. Can we do it or not? It is impossible to do an event within three months. We could take this as either a challenge or an opportunity. We took this as an opportunity. This is the story of Odisha's 90-day challenge. Odisha ke bahar ek soch diye sa ki Odisha ek jada progressive state nahi hai. Yahan pe kuch jada happening ho nahi raha hai. And this time the team Odisha said, "Let's uh, do it for the nation." and uh, show to the entire world what Odia and Odisha can do within a short span of 90 days. Once the Chief Minister said that uh, this is like Olympics for us and there's no way that we can let ourselves or the country down. I am delighted to be here today to announce that Bhubaneswar shall be hosting the 22nd Asia Athletic Championship. Odisha has truly transformed in recent years under the leadership of Mr. Naveen Patnaik, whose government has focused on agriculture, infrastructure, and inclusive growth. The state government has grown by leaps and bounds. It is a sea change from what it was in 2000. The Asian Athletics Championships would then be the litmus test for the government to demonstrate its executional capabilities at a global platform. When the proposal came to us the first time, it seemed to be an impossible task, completing everything in three months. But then we got down into the details. We sat down with the principals, started working on how much time an activity uh, would actually take and how much we could compress it. Then we appeared to be comfortable. Armed with the hopes of its millions and with the determination of its government, Adisha's administration swung into action. This is the team that set global benchmarks in disaster management. And with 60 days to go, they are knee-deep in action. We, with our team, we visited the stadium. We found that the stadium is only have a skeleton. We have to do full renovations. The chairs are in bad shape. The steps are in bad shape. Floor is in bad shape. There are toilets which are not functioning. The stadium was nothing but bare bones. The tracks were not ready. There were no floodlights. And there was no practice track, which is a mandatory requirement for international athletic events. The clock was indeed ticking. A lot of detailing went into it, so every activity, every task that we had, we broke that down into every small little activity by which day, and we monitored it on a daily basis. Secretary, he is the chief engineer, the superintendent engineer, he is the first time he is the first time he is the first time.
our officers literally slept there. These kind of things can be achieved only when the people are willing to walk that extra mile and people did make that. New Orissa is a totally transformed Orissa. The Orissa of today has got that kind of confidence. It is about the attitude. It is about the determination. It is also about the capacity. Odia लोग अगर ठान लेते हैं कोई काम करने के लिए वो काम करके दिखाते हैं 90 दिन क्या है उससे कम दिन से हम भी करके दिखाएंगे He consciously decided that such a game coming to Bhuvneshwar, the citizens must be able to connect with the games and participate in that feeling of uh, organizing that games. We organized a complete uh, Citizens Connect program and uh, we were able to mobilize across the city people from all walks of life. Having taken the bull by the horns, the team seems to have things under control. With only a week to go for the championships, it is yet a race against time. The entire event was to happen during the uh, rainy season and we were quite worried that uh, it was going to uh, disrupt the whole event if it rains. That was a very uh, a huge factor risk that we were taking and uh, that was always on our mind. We would also engage a very renowned fashion designing institute to design the dress for volunteers and for officials. We were actually not liking the uh, kind of designs that were coming up. Vinil and I, we sat down together. We looked at a few dresses. And then we came out with our own design. So these kind of things, I mean, getting into uncharted territory. Providing accommodation, which looks like a very uh, insignificant kind of a thing, but there also we had a lot of detailing, a lot of challenges to overcome. We cannot put South Korea and North Korea in the same. We cannot put together Iran and Iraq in the same hotel. are on the deck. This is truly an inclusive team. Bureaucrats, officials across departments and ranks, dedicated volunteers are all working with precision and in perfect harmony to bring together an event unprecedented in Odisha's history. With just one day to go for the grand opening ceremony, there was an unexpected setback. July, being peak monsoon season, torrential rains threatened to compromise and even wash out the cultural extravaganza. Dress rehearsals were called off a night earlier and the finale rehearsal carried out in pouring rain and in plain clothes. The eyes of Asia are on India. Will India be able to deliver? We felt that, you know, the gods were with us. Because when the event happened, it didn't rain. We did have divine blessings as well. 5th July, 2017. The stage is set. The torch is lit. The flags are flutter. The athletes begin to march in. I declared the 22nd Asian Athletic Six. Championships open. Bande Utkal Janani. The roaring cheer from the stands is a salute to the effort of Team Odisha. The opening ceremony has been crafted as a journey of Odisha's glorious past and its promising future. From Ashoka the Great down to modernization and industrialization. A seamless narrative as told by a confluence of modern and classical performing arts with artists from Odisha, India and the world. The team has delivered. The opening ceremony spectacle together with the management of the championships has left India and the sporting world in raptures. 
In the days that follow, the stands stay packed and the fervor only rises. There has been a transformation in every front in Orissa today and, and this particular event proved it clearly and squarely. The Kalinga Stadium literally stood as a metaphor or a symbolism for that transformation. It was uh, looking surreal, absolutely a transformed place and as if the dream come true. It was a dream that all of us shared. I think that's what made the difference. It's actually a case study for India how to organize such a fantastic meet in such a short time. This championship really has raised the bar high. The comment of General Dahlan was really delightful for us and he was actually wondering how they will maintain the standards when next time they will do the games in Doha. and I've seen this track, how it was and how it changed in 90 days. First time Orissa got a big mega event post call. Future athletes are very helpful to Orissa. When the team came to Orissa, 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 हमारा स्टेट को बहुत थैंक यू बोलना चाहती हूँ मेरा मम्मी पापा को मेरा रेस दिखाने के लिए क्योंकि मेरा मम्मी पापा कभी स्टेट बाहर नहीं जा पाएंगे तो थैंक यू The 90 day challenge has been met while Stadisha set the benchmark in delivery India delivered on the track topping the table with maximum goals ahead even of the Asian dragon China I wish they'd have the championship here again in the future. Odisha's Jana Sadhana Manakar Akunta Chita Sahajaga and Manyabara Mukhya Mantri Navin Puttanka Balishtar Netruta Balare. Team Odisha Jobali Bhave e Asam Bhava Karja Kramaku. Nabya Din Vitar Kari Ki Dekhai Tila Ki Odiya Aji Durbala Nue, Odiya Aji Sabala a few decades back, the very thought of uh, uh, staging uh, such a program in Bhuneshwar in a 90-day as a challenge uh, would not have been accepted. The 90 days challenge is one of the most brilliant and visual way of saying that Orissa has arrived. The Orissa of the new millennium, the Orissa of the younger generation is just raring to go. Even as the AAC was drawing to a close, the foundations for another momentous journey were being laid. It's fantastic to watch his life. Amazing. This is Sanya Bilin. Hashtag Orisha. Orisha. By organizing an event of unprecedented scale, Adisha has not only set the standard for the AAC, but also created a new benchmark in global project management and a successful race against time with complete precision. Individual efforts combined to make the 22nd Asian Athletics Championship what it was. A resounding success and a true testament to Adisha's passion and commitment to its principles. A state built on teamwork, transparency, and technology.